Ladies and gentlemen, Ronald Ray here, your boy with a cornbread accent. Welcome you to this week's episode of AEW Dynamite Recap Show. The fans at the Eagle Bank Arena and Fairfax, Virginia got to see some build up to Forbidden Door pay per view coming up. Uh, a little face to face with Swerve and Will, and uh, another contract signing uh, between Tony Storm and her opponent. Anyway, before I get started, let's do the usual sales pitch. Hey, if you like what you're hearing, click the like button. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this week's Dynamite. And be a champ. And click on that subscribe button and notification bell. It'll be greatly appreciated. Now, with all that out of the way, let's let her rip. All right, kicking off this week's Dynamite with no commercial interruptions whatsoever. It is this highly important match here. MJF, Maxwell, Jacob Freeman against Roosh. Uh, yeah, it's, for whatever reason, Roosh had a uh, guy's panties in the water about MJF, and uh, they started finding each other. But, hey, let's have that match free from TV now. I'm not sure about the uh, undisputed or uh, unholy kingdom undisputed kingdom whatever the fuck they call themselves uh, i guess that feud's done with i guess they're gonna mess with uh whoever now anyway uh they trade chops ended with mj uh, poked in the eyes uh then roosh took over after a vicious headbutt uh busted his mouth up pretty good my lost a tooth or something like that i have no idea uh pretty much was dominated by roosh then towards the end, uh, Max countered a drop kick with a, or a corner shotgun drop kick with, I guess they call it the bull's horn. Uh, anyway, he uh, avoided that with a clothesline, nailed Roosh with a heat seeker, pulled him back in the ring, brain buster, one, two, three, your winner, Maxwell, Jake Freeman, your scumbag, MJF, and... Got to see the Titantron, got to see uh, the uh, Gates of Agony, for whatever reason. And yes, now this is going to be a big pay-per-view match here. Not sure. Uh, not sure who he is. I've probably seen him a few times on Dynamite, whatever. I don't keep up with uh, Lucha Le or you know actual wrestling out of Mexico. Uh, but anyway... Uh, a Chikero is going to be in a big pay-per-view match with MJF. Uh, kind of Forbidden Door. That's his Forbidden Door opponent. Uh, okay. Please clue me in what's going on here because I had no idea why that match was booked. So, uh, hey, give him some... Uh, a couple competitive matches with people he... I guess they know he can be, or he's going to go over and uh, kind of get step back up on that ladder, I guess. Anyway, next. All right, next up we get a face-off with uh, Will Ospreay and Swerve Strickland. Of course, they'll be going to each other up with each other come for Ben Dwarf for the AEW World Championship. Swerve, of course, is your AEW champion. Uh... Will mentioned that he won't need Don Callis. They mentioned all the people he beat. Uh, Swerve said, hey, you got to do some sacrificing here, everything, including family. Uh, Will got in his feels when Swerve mentioned his family, saying, don't make this personal. Uh, Prince Nana got on the mic and said, hey, guys, you know, uh, let's save all the energy for the pay-per-view. Uh, basically, being a voice of reason here, then Swerve got back on the mic and asked, hey, well if, he, well, if I want to make it personal, and Will got back up in his face, and then they, you know, kind of squared up. No blows taken. Just uh, got in each other's grills. That's all. Next. All right, if you didn't like that six-man tag last week, by golly, they're going to throw another man on each side here this week. Eight-man tag action here. Mark Bisgrove, Kyle O'Reilly, Orange Cassidy, and Dante Martin. Goes up against Kyle Fletcher, uh, Roger Strong, Kansoki, Takishna, sorry, I gotta pause myself, and Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, let's see, they all go at it. 
didn't wait for the bell, no lockups, no nothing. They started throwing hands, started throwing flips. Roderick Strong, or Kyle Riley put Roger Strong in a knee bar on the ropes. Some more flips. Everybody got their shit in. Uh, Kyle Riley would push Cassie out of the way of a Roger Strong knee strike. Uh, Cassie would hit Roger Strong with orange punch for the win. Uh, yeah, uh, exciting little match. A lot of flips and body movements and shit like that. So, uh, and oh yeah, there was a little face off at the end with Orange Cassidy and Zack Sabre Jr. because they'll be going up against each other this weekend. Oh, by the way, there is a Owen Hart tournament going on. So, uh, women's side, men's bracket, should be lots of fun. Whoever wins each match, uh, if whatever guy wins to Owen Hart, they'll get the title shot come Wembley. Same thing with the women. All right, and I'm not sure why I mentioned anything with Owen Hart deal. Uh, this is all contenders for the TNT Championship, I do believe. Uh, so, except for, you know, of course, uh, Dylan's baby boy, he went in this match. So, uh, you look at the contenders here for the ladder match, come for Ben Door. Whoever climbs the ladder, grabs that belt, will be TNT champion. All right, speaking of a... Uh, Speaking of Dylan's baby boy and the elite, we got a qualifier match here. Uh, it is your all elite tag team champions, the not so young bucks going against the acclaimed. Uh, my favorite part here is when they shut down Matt Caster's mic because hey, you know I'm not a fan of rap music, but especially shitty rap music. Uh, of course, you know, Okada, you know, was the one who pushed the button, said, oops, my bad. Sorry, bitch. Uh, they start off rolling, of course, because nobody knows how to fucking lock up. Uh, <laughs> the Acclaim had advantage until Caster missed the corner. Uh, Bowen gets tagged in, but his leg would give way. Uh, Caster made a couple saves because they hit uh, Anthony Bowen just by every finisher you can. But uh, in the end, they grabbed the belt, uh, the Young Bucks did, and uh, Bowen's duck. One buck got hit. Uh, then they might drop a claim, or uh, excuse me, the arrival might drop a claim win. So they will get a future AEW World Tag Team title shot. By gosh, somebody actually won one of these freaking qualifying matches. Gosh dang. Alright. Let's go. Alright, now we got the contract signing for the AEW women's title match. The champion, Timeless Tony Storm, facing off with her opponent for Forbidden Door, Mina Shirakawa. Alright, and I got some HLA things happening between uh, her and Mariah May. Got a few ratings. Kind of dicks in that. Hey, and it's Tony Storm, you know. Uh, which, you know, at the end of the contract signing, she said, hey, I got some advice for you. Chin up, tits out, and watch for the shoe. Uh, of course, for whatever reason, um, Soraya came out with Harley Cameron to sh tell them what's up about whatever. I don't know what their point is in this crap is, but Anna J will wind up coming in, sneak attack. Uh, Tony Storm cleans house a little bit with a shoe, goes for a hip attack. But uh, uh, I think it was Soraya's going move, moved out of the way, and she put herself through the table. So, uh, and of course, up at the ramp, you see Mina and uh, Myra, Myra May uh, up on the ramp, kind of. Poking up there, so at least one thing was cool about this whole bullshit. All right, like I mentioned before, we got the Owen Hart tournament thing going on now. It is uh, Chris Statlander, but this for the women's side, of course. Chris Statlander versus Nala Rose. Um, okay, for what it is, uh, let's see. Uh, of course, Statlander was a heel. This one, Nala Rose actually got a pretty good uh, baby face pop. Didn't help her out too well because, you know, after some little back and forth action, it was Statlander with the Tombstone Piledriver for the win, and she moves on to the tournament facing either 
Willow Nightingale or Ser Serena Deeb. So, I believe that match will take place on Friday's episode of Rampage. So, check that shit out. Alright, if we can't throw any more bullshit at you, hell, we're gonna throw, they're gonna throw, throw some more bullshit at you. Uh, we got Daniel Garcia and having a squash match with Rhett Titus, uh, whatever he was in Ring of Honor. By golly, they don't seem to care for in AEW. Like I said, it's a squash match. Garcia wins with a variation of DDT, then Brian Cage in the Gates of Agony with a Chikiro comes out. Beats down uh, uh, Menard and Garcia till MJF's music hits. Hi, golly. If somebody's going to come help me on the fight, I hope they wait for their ring entrance music. Gosh, that's getting to be a pet peeve. Been pet peeve for a while. Anyway, WWE, they do that shit too. It is a pet peeve. Makes no sense. Anyway, so uh, the numbers game caught up with MJF. Michiro, who is his opponent for Forbidden Door. Locks him into a arm bar. And then we find how Will Ospreay's music hit. He comes down. Uh, Will Ospreay and MJF clear the ring of everybody. Uh, Garcia looks like a little wounded pup in the corner because he's supposed to be, the, I guess, a number one contender for the international championship. But as you know, Will Ospreay's a little busy going for the AEW world title. So be it. Anyway, we got a face off here with MJF and. Will Ospreay, and I uh, got the holy shit chant, of course, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right, and yeah, like I said, a lot of bullshit here. Uh, could they get found somebody else to help him out while uh, throwing these two together? Because, hey, he's in, he just got finished, MJF got finished with one big extreme feud with Roosh here, going to, into another big important feud here with at Chikiro, fuck the Forbidden Kingdom, I guess, and uh, now they're just going to throw him there for into Will Ospreay. Again, I don't write this bullshit. <laughs> um, maybe Shaman Man can help. 